Hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. So, it's gonna take me a while to get used to the buttons and everything again, I'm sure. It's been a while, and I've been waiting to do this. Everything has just been really hectic since uh, the kids went back to school and everything. Just haven't had any quiet time to myself, basically, to rec record anything. I've said before, though, that should be changing. Did you hear? No, what? There's a news update. They say that there is a terrorist explosion up above and that this time it was the Mako reactor. You know what that means? No, what? Yeah, I see. I... Oh, you see, I keep on top of things. And if you ask me, if you knock out Midgar's power, then all of its computers and signals are going to be knocked out too. Financially, there must have been about a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. A lot of people got killed too. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, that would have been one thing. At least people could have gone in their sleep. Hmm. What the hell's wrong tonight? I thought that long blackout was strange. They say Mako reactor was destroyed above. I was just sitting here drinking and watching the news by myself, and all of a sudden we get kicked out of the... whatever store. Uh, what's up with that? I don't know if I'm just gonna put my own swear words in the place of those. I probably will end up doing that eventually. You know, I never actually read this sign. And you can't. So there you go. <laughs> okay, well let's get in here and progress the story a bit. Okay, go on ahead. Papa! Aren't you going to say anything to Cloud? Welcome home, Cloud. Looks like everything went well. Did you fight with Barrett? Of course I did. I should have known. He's always pushing people around and you've always been in fights yet ever since you were little. I was worried. Of course, we're going to keep her name. I'm so glad everyone's safe. Marlene's not saying anything. Nothing like first drink after a job. Hick. Why don't you have one too? Sure, why not? Oh, that's more like it. Even, with, even if you were a soldier, you're still a rookie here, so you better better listen to whatever I tell you. Oh, Cloud. Tifa really knows how to cook. Hmm. Anyway, let me tell you something. Uh, about what? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. And look at me now. I am roly-poly. I don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but the food- the good food and drinks that make- But it's the good food and drinks that make the shop famous. Yeesh. I think I didn't know how to read. <laughs> hey, Wedge. You're getting all excited. Stop making such a mess. I believe when we do this, he comes in. <laughs> I love how he just goes and hops and sits cross-legged. It's hilarious. Papa, welcome home! You alright, Barrett? Great. Get in here, fools. We're starting the meeting. I always imagined him to talk like Miss, like Mr. T. I don't know why, but I always just figured that he would sound exactly like Mr. T. He just says, sit down. How about something to drink? Give me something hard. Just a minute, I'll make one for you. You know, I'm relieved you made it back safely. What's up with you all of a sudden? That job wasn't even tough. I guess not. You were in Soldier. Make sure you get your pay from Barrett. Don't worry, once I get that money, I'm out of here. Who are you? Cloud, are you feeling alright? Yeah, why? 
No reason, you just look a little tired, I guess. too uptight. Nah, not Wedge. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about me. I don't look like it, but I'm a coward at heart. Yo, Cloud, there's something I want to ask you. Was there anyone from Soldier fighting us today? None. I'm positive. See, I'm pretty sure. If there was any from... If there was anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Don't go thinking you're so bad just because you was in Soldier. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're strong. Probably all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Uh, don't get no ideas about hanging on to Shinra. About hanging on. Yeah, okay. Staying with Shinra. You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. He gets up in his face. I'm going upstairs. I want to talk about my money. Papa, you're so great. Oh. Wait, Cloud. Tifa, let him go. Looks like he still misses the Shinra. Shut up! I don't care about neither Shinra nor Soldier. But don't get me wrong. I don't care about Avalanche or the planet for that matter. We'll be the tough guy. We'll head on it again. You know, I never noticed it before. But there's a sign over here that says Texas. Beer in Texas up in the corner. Why does it say Texas? <laughs> like, this is supposed to be something not in our world. Listen, Cloud, I'm asking you, please join us. Sorry, Tifa. The planet is dying, slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. So let Barrett and his buddies do something about it. It's got nothing to do with me. So you're really leaving? You're just gonna walk right out, ignoring your childhood friend. What? Um, I guess, how can you say that? You forgot the promise, too. Promise? So you did forget. Remember, Cloud, it was seven years ago. Then. I thought you would never come, and I was getting a little cold. Sorry I'm late. You said you wanted to talk to me about something? Come this spring, I'm leaving town for Midgar. All the boys are leaving town. But I'm different from them. I'm not just going to find a job. I want to join Soldier. I'm going to be the best there is, just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Isn't it hard to join Soldier? <clears throat> I 
probably won't be able to come back to this town for a while. If you make it, will you be in the newspapers? I'll try. Hey, let's make a promise. Um, if you get really famous, and if I'm ever in a bind, <clears throat> you'll come save me, alright? What? If I'm ever in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to experience that at least once. What? <laughs> Come on, promise me. Alright, I promise. I love this game so much. I know I've said it before, but I just adore this game. You remember now, don't you? Our promise? I'm not a hero, and I'm not famous, so I can't keep our promise. But you got your childhood dream, didn't you? You joined Soldier. So come on, you've got to keep your promise. He just climbs up. <laughs> Wait a sec, big time Soldier. A promise is a promise, here. See so Barrett's stash. This is my pay? Don't make me laugh. What? Then you'll... You got... You got the next mission lined up. I'll do it... Oh, you got the next mission lined up? I'll do it for 3,000. What? It's okay, it's okay. Psst. We're really hurting for help, right? Ugh. But that money's for Marlene's schooling. 2,000. Thanks, Cloud. So we're about sorry. Are you in the basement? Sure. Are. Good morning, Cloud. Did you sleep well? Uh, <laughs> Bear snoring kept me up. Or next to you, who wouldn't? Let's do that one. I don't know what you mean. I'm going this time. I love how Marlene knows how to make drinks. <laughs> like, she's, what, like four or five in this game? Our target is the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fill you in on the train. Yo, Cloud. Before the next mission, I got something I want to ask you. Uh, I really don't know how to use materia. I'll, I'll give you that materia we found. Just teach me how to use it. Okay, I'll explain it. Even though I've seen this before. I'm sure, I'll explain how materia works. Oh, I just skipped a whole bunch. You know the basic functions. Maybe I didn't. Directional buttons move the cursor. Like this. Select each menu by using OK. If you want to leave the menu. Ah, oh, it said just push cancel. See? Let's go ahead. Now you're in this menu. Select material submenu. And then you select the person. You select the slot. Now look at my weapon here. Each weapon and armor has slots in it. Choose the slot you want to put materia in. Now select the materia you want to use. This is curative materia. Uh, if you want to know what its effect is, line the cursor up with the check in the menu. And push the OK button. It's just like selecting battle commands. Just line the cursor up to magic. 
can see the available magic has increased. You can now use magic. And that's all there is to equipping materia. See? That wasn't tough. It's actually not all there is. Um, when you want to remove materia, it's as easy as pointing to the materia slot and pushing menu. There's just one thing you have to be careful of. Whenever you equip materia, your situation changes. Uh, parts of you be may become stronger, while others get weaker. Normally, when you equip magic materia, but your physical strength weakens. I must read the last one wrong. So materia is kind of like, kind of a double-edged sword. On the left side of the screen, you can see the materia's effect on you. <clears throat> it's not wise to overuse magic materia. And I skipped a bunch of those again. Son of a bitch. Push cancel to exit the submenu. Okay, that's about it. I'll give you some advanced tips later. Which is not helpful. It would've been nice to fucking have advanced tips now. Fuck, what is this? It wasn't... It wasn't that tough. Crap. I don't get it. You just handle the materia cloud. Yay, now I can access materia. Without, I got a message from the weapon shop man upstairs. He has something he wants to give you. Don't forget. Merlene, you watch the store while we're gone. Alright, good luck. Okay. So, let's go to the... Yeah, I didn't think he was up here. I think he's up in this one, isn't he? I don't quite remember. It's been so long since I played this last. Hey, you, wait a minute, you. You can just walk in here without buying something. It might be unhealthy for you if you know what I mean. Uh, okay, so... I get three of those. How much money do I have? Not a lot. We'll do the materia at the very end. And now, talk to him again. So now, we go back and we sell our shit. Iron bangle. I had a ton of iron bangles? Oh, for fuck's sakes. I have eight fucking iron bangles. Well, I don't... definitely don't need eight right now. So four of them. Christ, that's annoying. Can I talk to this dude? No, okay. Yeah, yeah, I know that! I don't want to talk to you! Ah, oh, I wasn't even beside you! Okay, apparently we're just walking through here, so... Get out of my way, kid! Forget what I was saying before I went into the store. Come on, run! save just oh shit he had material there back in there good you got one right off that was materia next take this treasure chest received ether now listen pinning these treasure chests are a lot of items uh there are box types and bag types so make sure you don't overlook any To actually go use it? Yeah, okay. Maybe that'll just save where it is. Because I want to get all the way upstairs. I don't quite remember how to get up there. Maybe I can't right now. Okay. Get out of the way, kid! I know there's a materia store somewhere.
this is the medicine shop. What do you have for me? <clears throat> oh, you do have some. Okay. So we have ice, we have lightning, we have restore. Just need fire. Um, I actually don't really need that right now. How many phoenix stands? I only have two phoenix stands. Just get one more. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on, get out. There we go. <laughs> I love that the controls are still a little bit janky on this. I didn't quite fix everything up. Okay, well, apparently... But he didn't have anything for me. Like, I went to the weapon shop. This dude was the weapon shop. Okay, well... I don't think I have enough for the other... Oh yeah, I do. Okay. No! That one. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, so now we go into. Oh! Still getting used to all these controls again. You'd think I'd know it by now. And then we don't have any accessories. Okay. So now, we store all. We take. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. Take one off of you. I know there was a quick button for taking stuff off. I'm gonna give you one. So anyways, like I was saying, um, if you do this, the little um, double looking thing here means that they're connected. And I didn't know this for the longest fucking time. So what actually happens is you put all into a slot that's connected and you can use that magic on all. So in this case, it's cure, so you can cure your whole fucking party. In, um, like if it's something like fire or ice, and you put all there, then you can hurt all of your enemies. So, that's good to know. <laughs> and like I said, I went through a good, I think I went through the whole Midgar bit of the game without knowing that. So, I was constantly like trying to cure people one by one, and oh, it was just a nightmare. My first time playing through, anyways. We, I don't need to talk to any of you guys. We are going to try and get over here. There we go. And we are going to save. Yes. Okay, and we are actually going to call this episode here. And I think this... Blah, blah, blah. I think this will probably be how I end up doing it. Where at the save points will be where I call the episodes. That said, it's not necessarily going to be every single save point I go to or every single time I go to a save point. It'll be about 20 minutes to a half hour, probably. I think that's how long I've been playing this. Hell, I might have been playing it longer. I don't know yet. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this. Let me know what you thought underneath in the comments or just by hitting the likes and whatnot. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye!